Over 1 billion wireless earbuds were sold last year, most of them unrepairable junk, dead as soon as the batteries go bad. Can we count on Google to shake up the market? So in today's teardown, what I want to know is this. Did Google's engineers design the Pixel Buds 2a with repairability in mind? Well, sort of yes, but mostly no. Let me show you what I mean. These buds, as with so many others we've seen, are glued shut around the seams of the driver. That means we need to find a jig that can hold it, pull out the rework station, and carefully heat the seam to pry it open. Once the housing is opened up, I can see a gasket running around the outer edge that seems to hint at a repairable design, but honestly, it's already far too late. That's only made worse once I realize the battery is glued in, requiring far too much force to remove, and no amount of isopropyl alcohol or heat is going to change that. The damage to the outer casing and the battery itself tells you everything you need to know about the feasibility of a DIY repair. Where the buds failed to deliver, the case stands in stark contrast as a shining example of designing for repairability. You can see two strategically placed torque screws on the inside of the case and not a drop of glue in sight. The case just slides out buttery smooth. And check this out. No screws, no tools, the battery pops out using this nifty pull tab. Now how cool is that? The 1.53 watt hour cell requires the removal of two screws where the Fairbuds battery case required one, but it outdoes the Fairbuds by making the port and board replaceable with the removal of just two screws and a single press connector. And that's it, job done. Pack up and go home, this teardown is finished.